Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Monday. We got seven matchups on this NBA slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below. You guys already know what to do. And um, yeah, guys, if you haven't already, you still have time to go ahead and enter the giveaway, guys. Go ahead and do that. All you got to do is just go to my Twitter. That's simple. Um, plenty, of, uh, plenty of opportunity for you guys to hop in there. And uh, just comment your favorite team. That's really it, guys. So go ahead and do that. And uh, one of you guys will get some awesome merch uh, in the next few weeks here. And then, yeah, we'll hop in it. Pretty light slate today on most sports. Seven matchups, starting with the Charlotte Hornets versus the Orlando Magic. Magic opening up as a one and a half point home favorite with the over under at 221 and a half. Hornets coming into this matchup 3 and 11. 5 and 9 covering the spread. The Magic 4 and 9. 6, 5, and 2 covering the spread. Head to head, both teams have won 5 out of the last 10 matchups. Uh, no Gordon Hayward or Dennis Smith Jr. for Charlotte. Charlotte, they are on an 8 game losing streak right now. It's been rough for Charlotte. Magic on a 2 game winning streak here. And, um,. Yeah, I really don't want any part of this Charlotte team. They've looked so bad. I'll take the Magic money line minus one and a half at home. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Raptors versus the Detroit Pistons. Raptors opening up as a five point road favorite with the over under at 220. Raptors coming into this matchup seven and seven, eight and six covering the spread. Detroit three and 11 or eight and two covering the spread. Head to head, Detroit is seven and three head to head here, but um, yeah, no Fred Van Vliet, Van Vliet for Toronto in this matchup. Uh, Kate cutting him out for a while for Detroit here. Toronto they're on a two game losing streak. Detroit on a three game losing streak, one and six in their last seven right now. Pretty ugly matchup in this one here, but uh. I'm going to lean with the Raptors here. I just don't trust this Pistons team. So I'm going to take Raptors minus five and money line on the road. Next matchup, we got the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Boston Celtics. Celtics opening up as an 11 point home favorite with the over under at 229 and a half. Thunder coming into this matchup, six and seven, eight and five covering the spread. The Celtics, 10 and three, seven and six covering the spread. Head to head, Boston is eight and two, five and five covering the spread uh, in the last ten matchups. There, uh, no major injury. No, you know, Malcolm Brogdon is still out for Boston. OKC, okay, they're on a two-game winning streak right now. Boston on a six-game winning streak. Boston playing great basketball here. Got a nice streak built up. OKC okay, three and twelve on the road where they you know haven't been able to really get it done here. I'm gonna take Boston here. They've just been so good here, and uh, I don't know. It could be a rough one for OKC on the on the road here. So I'm gonna take Boston minus eleven and money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Phoenix Suns versus the Miami Heat. Heat opening up as a one and a half point home favorite with the over under at two seventeen. Suns coming into this matchup eight and four, seven and five covering the spread. The Heat six and seven, three and ten covering the spread. Head to head, both teams have won five out of the last ten matchups. Uh, Chris Paul is questionable. That's kind of the main one right here. Uh, Phoenix coming off an Orlando loss. Miami on a little two-game winning streak against Charlotte, but Charlotte's pretty bad, so. You know, say what you want about those two wins there. Phoenix four and one covering against Miami, and four and one in their last five against Miami here. Yeah, I'm gonna take Phoenix plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Hawks versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks opening up as a four point home favorite with the over under at 224. Hawks coming into this matchup eight and five, six six and one covering the spread. The Bucks 10 and 2, 9 and 3 covering the spread. Head to head, the Bucks are 6 and 4 in their last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, no Drew Holiday, but Giannis is back, so that is uh, good news for the Bucks. Atlanta coming off a Philly loss, 
And remember, they did beat Milwaukee uh, 117-98 in their last meeting. Bucks coming off a Spurs loss. Yeah, getting Giannis back, I think things will be back to normal here. I'm going to take uh, Bucks minus four in money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Houston Rockets. Clippers opening up as a five and a half point road favorite with the over under at 220. Clippers coming into this matchup seven and six, five and eight covering the spread. The Rockets two and 11, five, six and two covering the spread. Head to head, the Clippers are eight and two in their last 10 matchups. Uh, no Kawhi Leonard and um, no John Wall. No Jay Sean Tate for Houston. Clippers coming off a Brooklyn loss. Houston, they're on a two-game losing streak. Two and eight in their last ten. I mean, they've looked very bad here. They've already played the Clippers on a back-to-back -back, uh, a few weeks ago, losing both of those matchups. So, yeah, I'm going to take Clippers minus five and a half in money line on the road. And then the last matchup, we got the San Antonio Spurs versus the Golden State Warriors. Warriors opening up as an eight-point home favorite with the over/under at two thirty-two. Spurs coming into this matchup six and seven, eight and five covering the spread. The Warriors five and eight, four and nine covering the spread. Head to head, the Spurs are six and four in their last ten matchups. Spurs one and five in their last six, coming off a nice Bucks win. The Warriors, man, it coming off a. a or, you know, uh, a King's loss. Three and seven in their last ten. They've just, I don't know what's going on with the Warriors here. Um, been horrible covering. Four and nine covering the spread. They've been such a letdown, I'd say, the early part of this season. Spurs are four and two covering against the Warriors. I'm going to take a shot with the Spurs plus eight on the road, man. The Warriors have just let me down a lot this season. Can't cover for nothing. So uh, we'll take Spurs plus eight on the road here. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Monday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Tuesday. Have a good one.